Hello and welcome to our Sunday evening meditation. I'm Juna. Sabina. And we're from Synergy in Motion and we offer coaching and all kinds of good stuff. Uh, and what we do here every week, every Sunday, is we bring you a weekly energy forecast, which is a synthesis of the I Ching, the human design, gene keys, and we bring to you a morsel of the energy that's up in the air for this particular week ahead. And today we are not live, we're usually live, but today we're here in our airstream on the northern shores of Lake Superior mm. and streaming from you for to you from here. <laughs> So yeah, it's it's delicious energy up here. We've been enjoying uh, like 10, 12 days so far and uh, really getting our fill of the trees, the water. It's, it's endless up here. It's just amazing. So please receive this beautiful energy from nature um, as we meditate tonight. But first, let's, um, let's look at the energy forecast for the week. What we're having is hexagram number six. And it is called contention or conflict, which is interesting because last week it was about oppression. So we're having some pretty heavy duty um, hexagrams, heavy duty energies. But remember, we are in the quarter of relationships, bonding, duality. So what's bound to come up in relationship, right? So often we're in relationship with someone who's different than us and we're, 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 attracted to that difference, right? So that's the energy of um, from September 15 to 20, I believe. Yeah, September 15 to 20. So we've already been in it a few days. And you might have noticed in yourself, in different relationships, if you've been more contentious, or other people have been, just kind of notice that and then you'll have it for a couple more days. And then we shift into a different energy. So today is kind of a big whammy of a couple of different hexagrams. And um, we're going to move. So we'll talk about conflict. That's what's happening right now. But on the 21st, and through the fall equinox, which is happening on the 22nd, we're moving into a different hexagram, 46, which is the love of the body. It's about growing upward. It's pushing upward and um, moving into something new. So that's the energy that will be coming after this conflict time. So we'll spend a little bit on on conflict and how can you be with this with this kind of conflictual energy in your life mm -hmm. and i think it's fascinating to see how conflict actually is an invitation for diversity in my world i always thought conflict always leads to some form of war mm -hmm. ultimately and like separation but what if conflict was an invitation to embrace diversity? What if we didn't have to be with conflict from right or wrong? We often have situations, particularly when we travel, that where <laughs> one of us has this point of view and another one has the, this point of view, go here, go there. No, and then we figure it out together. But if and on those days when we come from, I'm right and you're wrong or I'm wrong, and you're right, it doesn't lead anywhere. Mm -hmm. But when we say, okay, what is, what is Juna actually saying? Mm -hmm. And listen to each other, then we actually find ways that create an amazing holiday mm -hmm. and, <laughs> and a really beautiful life. But again, it comes from that allowing the diversity of life and not having to exclude anything from that diversity. Mm -hmm. And human design talks about this gate six, hexagram six, as um, friction is what you need, like coming mm -hmm. together, like the friction is what creates growth and progress. Okay, it's growth and progress isn't possible without some friction. And I mean, you might buy that or not. But it, it is interesting how, like, when you can meet when you can meet that and go through that conflict together, I don't know if you've ever been through a situation where you've met and you've you've talked it through and you come out and it's like the air freshens up and the you can breathe and there's a whole new possibility. 
in the ancients of, of the I Ching too, they said, rather than focus on the differences and nitpicking and you're, you're wrong and all of this, like what Sabina was saying is find the common ground. What is the common ground between yourself and the other person, uh, your team and that team? And then how can you, how can you, um, bring it together. So mm-hmm. that's that, what that friction does. And about half of the population can handle conflict and, and, you know, thrives on it. And the other part just wants to go, no, I don't like conflict, but <laughs> it's, it's inevitable. And when you're in relationship, it is inev- inevitable and meeting that, um, with grace and being able to talk it through. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, and do we need to say anything about the 46? I wanted to mention just a little bit about what you can look forward to after the the 21st. Um, That is, yeah, it's the love of the body, and it is about really starting with your body that week. And um, it is, yeah, the fall equinox comes, the autumn equinox, um, and it's about being in the right place at the right time. And, and it's growing upward. The symbol there is, um, earth, earth over wood. And so it's like the image of, of, of a tree that's reaching up into the earth, like growing up through the earth and growing and, and discovering. So it's part of the channel of discovery in human design. So if you have a birthday from the 21st to the 26th, you'll have that in your chart as your personality sun. So. Anyways, lots of lots of info here, mm-hmm. and um, let's and, and they they dance so beautifully together, like that mm. love of the body and love for yourself, and when you don't make yourself wrong or right, then that self acceptance and that embracing of who you actually are can come forth, mm. and allows you to grow into new areas and truly live your creative genius. Mm-hmm. That's I'm fascinated how they created this flow thousands of years ago and it is still current and, yeah, accurate. All right. So are you ready to take a deep breath and relax and get into your body? Mm-hmm. And allow your body to become comfortable. And smell the fresh air that is here, sweet forest scent. The fir, the balsam, the pine. And allow that freshness, that nurturing energy of nature to be present with you right here, right now. Breathe it in. And come home to yourself. That space in you where you're safe and can allow yourself to be yourself. And in the stillness, allow that space of you to become bigger. To create a space with you and around you that is safe and is your sacred space.
and in this sacred space, just allow all the rights and all the wrongs that you carry within you to dissolve. And you don't need to know what they are. You can just make the invocation to let them go. Even the stuff that you have gotten right or that you think is right. That's also important to let that go so something else can come in. And allow the power of the fall equinox that is already starting to come forth to transform all those rights and wrongs. Without you having to do anything about it. And at the same time, allow that part of you that is creative, your creative genius to come forth. Like all your viewpoints of how you can see things and how you do see things and the incredible diversity of you. What if you allowed yourself to be that diverse in your life? Not just for yourself, within yourself, but allowing yourself to be that. And within that, come to a point where you allow yourself to be you with no judgment. Really, in this moment in time, open that space for you. And from that space, become aware of all the different points of views, even in your head, this or that. Maybe, maybe not, yes or no. And let them all be there. What if you didn't have to choose? What if all those points of views were just a contribution to the diversity? And your inner knowing will guide you on your path, not the rights and the wrongs.
And now focus on an area in your life where you experience a conflict within yourself or with someone or something. And perceive that energy of those two diverse points of views. And feel that tension between them. It's a creative tension. What would it be like if you just allowed that? Be present with it. Acknowledging the difference. And also, by allowing this creative tension without having to take sides, the common ground to unfold. A new possibility. And together, let's lift our focus and become aware of the world, of the different points of views and all the conflicts and wars that are raging on this planet right now. And let's be that space of allowing conflict without having to take sides Embracing all those different points of views. And allowing the common ground to unfold, to come forth. With the gift and the art of diplomacy, bringing forth a new possibility. Allowing the creative tension between the different sides, the creative tension of conflict to birth forth the new, the different.
And now become aware of your part in this bigger picture of how when you live true to you and in your own diversity, what a huge contribution this is. A contribution to a different way of being on this planet. And in this energy also perceive that allowance of you and receive that allowance of life. Actually the embrace of life, of your diversity. What would it be like for you to allow life to embrace your diversity, your creative genius. Because it does. And in the next week, be aware of all those conflicts, the big ones and the small ones, and become aware of that creative tension of those different points of views. And allow yourself to just see it as possibilities, allowing that creative tension to bring forth the new something different play with it instead of trying to avoid it or solve it play with it be creative, be the artist how much fun can you have with that fun with conflict Mm. (laughs) what (laughs) and with that and a big wave of gratitude from us to you for daring to walk on this path and being you. Let's take a deep breath in. Let all that diversity rattle around within you and create. Thank you. Thank you for joining us tonight. That was a great meditation. Thanks for that. And um, We will see you next week. Live. Yes, it will be live next week. So Not from the woods. And no, but hey, who knows? Maybe we're starting something new and and, uh, we'll surprise ourselves. (laughs) (laughs) We tend to do that. (gasps) Thank you for joining us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And have a great week. Yeah. Until next time. And happy equinox. Yes. (laughs) Bye. Bye.